Hello, uglies. Welcome to the 15th cycle. My name is Laura Jones, and I'm the winner of Fashion Sims 999 Cycle 2, the most known and popular winner in The Sims' next top model history. Yeah, yeah, cut that crap. You age badly. When I win this competition, I will be more popular and richer than you have ever been. Whoa, 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 damn, did you just say all of that? Oh, one last thing. My look is unique, and I stand out from everyone else here. Now that I'm thinking of it, you are right. You'll be known for your green mullet look. Green mullet? What is that supposed to mean? You know what I mean. I don't... Wait. Don't tell me. Are you going to give me a mullet? Correct. <laughs> Not my hair! I love my hair! I don't want it to be short and ugly! I don't deserve this! I don't want my hair to be green! <laughs> While she is busy crying, I have a question for all of you. Are you ready to see your home? I wonder what our home will look like. I imagine it to be huge with a lot of rooms, beautiful lamps, a bar, a white sparkly kitchen. Every season, the girls have been living in amazing houses. Finally, it's my turn to live in luxury for weeks. That's great that you are excited to go home, but that's not happening yet. This season, the competition will be stricter and harder. When we are going to talk to you about challenges, there are challenges for you right now. I wasn't ready for a challenge at that moment. The very first challenge for this season is none other than the runway challenge. As a model, you can't just take great pictures and look great all the time. You need to know how to walk as a model and show confidence on the catwalk. Because of the pandemic, there won't be any audience, but don't worry about it. Tonight, the judges will watch all of you. For the past two weeks, we've been in quarantine. This is the reason why only eight girls are in the cast. I don't mind that there are under ten girls on the show. The girls seem to be interesting and, you know, I think we'll have a lot of fun in the coming weeks. What's your name? Oh, I'm Geraldine. And yours? It's Delamina. Where are you from? Strasbourg, France. Oh, France. Well, that's interesting. I live in Manila, Philippines. I try to get to know the girl so I know who to befriend. There is Geraldine. She seems to be a nice person and I love her unique look. Emery seems to be a little bit awkward, but I think we can get along with each other. Then we have Chanel. I don't know how to explain her. She seems to be the girl who is not here to make any friends and wants to win the competition. We are way too different from each other. Oh, I wish I could wear beautiful clothes like this every single day for the rest of my life. Going to clubs in the future and looking like a supermodel? I mean, it's everyone's dream to look amazing wherever they go. I think both of us have a good fashion sense, but we can't afford to buy it. Buying expensive clothes is a waste. Many people only wear it one time and then they never use it ever again. I'm just happy that I'm able to wear something that I like that is not expensive. It's better for our climate to not buy expensive stuff or in the end, we won't have any food left in the future. I can agree with her that in this world we shouldn't buy everything and especially expensive stuff. There are people in this world that can't even afford food one day and then there are those people who are bathing in money every day, but I don't think the food will be gone in the future since we can grow new food for ourselves if needed. 
Don't you want something that's more fancy or expensive in your wardrobe? Not for one dollar. I understand. The reason why I keep my hair very short is because I don't want to waste so much shampoo every day. And it's expensive to buy it every month. I keep my life simple and save up my money for stuff that is worth my money. What's your name? My name is Simran. And yours? It's Emery. How old are you? I'm 21 years old. I feel old now. Wait, how old are you? 24. So, you were born in 1996? Yep. I was born in 1999. So, it's not a huge gap between our ages. There are a few people here who were born in 2001. They are literally babies. How can't I feel old when I'm around them? The show starts in five minutes. Yeah, that is five minutes, ladies. <laughs> Be ready to see me win this challenge. Miss Chanel has worked so hard on her catwalk that no one else can beat it. I'm sorry to say it, but I hope all of you trip on the catwalk. There can only be one winner. And that is me. <laughs> Did she say that to our face? How disrespectful can you get? There is a huge difference between being confident and cocky. And if she thinks she's only confident, then she is wrong. I don't like these types of people who think they're just so much better than everyone else. Sure, I've met those kinds of people in my life before, but at least they have said it when I wasn't around. I don't even know what's worse, to be cocky behind someone else's back or in front of them. I guess both of them are equally bad. Oh, listen up, at least you don't have to act nasty towards us. Oh my gosh, why am I so nervous right now? My heart's gonna jump out from my chest. Because your brain is sending signals to your body that are pumping out adrenaline. Our bodies aren't used to living in the time that we're living in, so it's still thinking we're living in times we were hunting animals, which means your body is in fight or flight mode. Three minutes left. Break a leg. I hope we both can do well on our first challenge. It's nice to have you in this season as a judge. Thanks. You know, this is my first time, and I'm very excited to see these girls growing to become a supermodel. Oh, now you're trying to be kind to the new judge, George? This is the first time I'm hearing you being so friendly towards others. Zip your mouth, I wasn't talking to you. But now you are. Mind your own business, old lady. How dare you call me an old lady? You're only doing this job because you are lazy. And you are only doing this job because no agency is hiring you. How dare you! Please, can we enjoy the show at least? Fine. I don't think I have the best work, but I hope it's the best so that they won't say it's the worst thing that they've ever seen. For being someone who was the prettiest in their neighborhood, I really hope my looks help me in the competition. I know that I have a great walk and can do pretty photo shoots. Even though there were only like four people in the audience that were our judges, I could still feel the love from them. I need to take a huge crap. Ugh. Laura! Nobody needs to know that. Everything was magical. I could never have imagined myself standing on a catwalk in beautiful and expensive clothes. It was fun and I want to do this all over again.
all eyes are on me, and I love getting this kind of attention. I can say that I have been practicing this walk for quite a few years. My catwalk isn't the best. I'm anxious that it looks worse than I thought. All I can think of is the prize that I will get. I feel sexy and hot in my outfits. I mean, I look hot without all these clothes too. Wait, that sounds so wrong. Hmm, she knows how to walk. But she doesn't know how to talk. I think I look like a real supermodel here. I want to stand out from the rest of the girls, and I think none of us had to be nervous about this show. At least it's a relief that this part is done now. They did a great job for their first runway show. I agree. You know, many girls usually end up being a huge mess at the runaway. However, all of these girls have potential. I think we all did a great job. This is amazing. I had so much fun. You rocked the runway. <laughs> Speak for yourself. You were amazing. Oh, I'm jealous of you. These girls are giving me a fucking headache already. I feel that these girls are a little bit too immature for this competition. They are being loud, annoying, and are talking about celebrating their first challenge that is now completed. Seriously, just shut the fuck up and take me home so I can sleep already. I want to be done with this as fast as possible. There are two of you who really need to improve your catwalk, and those are Lupita and Emery. Lupita, your catwalk was neither bad or good, but it's still one of the weakest among the others. You need to show more confidence and be like, hey, look at me, it's my turn to shine. It's the same for you, Emery. You looked unsure when you walked, which makes us see that you have no idea what you are doing. I hope both of you have improved by the next time if you are still in the competition. Now, we have the top three strongest walkers. It's Chanel, Simran, and Geraldine. It was a tough decision to choose one winner for this week's challenge. The winner of the challenge is... Geraldine. Wait, what? <laughs> wow, me? Like, for real? I won the challenge? You look like a wax star on the catwalk. I saw Chanel's face when I won the challenge. I know she's upset and, and it you know, kinda makes everything more funny seeing her jealous makes me wanna rub it in her face. But I'm not that immature and I'd better not do it. Don't be naughty to other people or the karma will bite your ass off. My house in New York looks way better than this dark hole. I'm pissed off. First, I lose the challenge, and second, I have to live in a basic house with seven other girls. God, just fucking kill me already. This house is simple, and not as luxurious as the one in other season, but I love it. 
I feel comfortable here already. And the beds will be nice to sleep on every night. Speaking of beds, it's getting pretty late now and I'm exhausted. Hey girls, who wants the next pancake? I'm full. I can take one. Oh, there we go. Thank you. Are they still sleeping? Yeah, they seem to be, but hey, we fell asleep very, very late last night, so it kind of makes sense. I think we're free today. We just did our first challenge and our photo shoot already. How did the photo shoot go for both of you? I think I will either be in the middle or somewhere in the bottom. Oh, why do you think that? The photographer told me that my face looked too harsh in the photo shoot. Ha! There's a letter from Fabian! You have three hours to prepare. End of this day, only seven of you will continue in the competition to become a Sims Next Top Model. Love, Fabienne. Damn, I wasn't prepared for it to be an elimination day. My heart sank when we got the letter. We've only been together as a group for one day and it's time to say goodbye to one of us. I'm not mentally ready for it. Welcome to your very first judging. I'm Fabienne, the host of this season, and I'm the winner of Cycle 10. Today we have our amazing judges here. Let's meet Laura, winner of Fashion Sims 999 Cycle 2, and is a very known winner. We have George, a Sims Next Top Model creator, and we have a new judge who is a supermodel, and is her first time on the show, Tammy. Hi ladies, it's nice to meet all of you, and I'm excited to know each one of you. And I'm not. She looks more like she belongs in Duckburg with being a supermodel. Ugh, shut up Chanel! Two days ago you took a photo shoot in a room full of mirrors and wore beautiful clothing. Simran, can you please come up? Are you ready to see your photo? Yeah, sure. You really came to us knowing how you posed for the photo shoot? Simran, what even is this? Why are your arms positioned so far away from your body? Why are you looking at the floor instead of the camera? Your face looks so dead. And it makes me wonder if you even bothered or cared how the result would turn out. Because it turned out tragically bad. You are the most invisible in the cast. You can't allow yourself to do that bad. I understand. I can't say that this is a bad photo. I mean, your bodywork is fashion forward, honey. But something about this is really stiff. I mean, I can't seem to connect with your face. A super stunning pose that was ruined with a bland face. You look lost and unfocused as if you were just randomly making poses and this one worked. But the posing is great. If I crop your head off of the photo. Next up we have is Ivy.
talented, brilliant, incredible, amazing, show-stopping, spectacular, never the same, totally unique, completely not ever been done before, unafraid to reference or not reference, put it in a blender, shit on it, vomit on it, eat it, give birth to it. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. Are you sure you've never done this before? I don't believe it. This is how a model should look in photo shoots. You even made George and Laura's wig fly off. This is my real hair, bitch. Aren't your hair extensions from Raylan's hair when I cut it last season? No comment. Uh, unexpectedly, I wasn't the biggest fan of your look at first, but you did find the perfect light for your face here. Also, you show your neck and create great triangles with your body. Oh my god, I can't believe you guys actually like this photo. For once I feel so proud of myself. Why are you crying? I've always seen myself as an ugly person because of the way I was treated as a child. My biological parents abused me, and even when I came to my foster parents, I was always told how ugly I was and how I was never good enough for them. I went so far that the man in the family molested me and my uncle had to take me with him. How was living with your uncle? Honestly, it's way better, and he's treated me like I was his own daughter. <laughs> even if it's better now, my self-esteem hasn't gotten any better. You should never tell yourself that you are ugly. You are gorgeous and have a lot of unique features. Today you showed us all this picture. You did a great job. Thank you. Next up is Lupita. Hmm. I like the body here. I do wish you could have looked in the camera more though and used more expressions in your face. Right now when I look at this photo, I feel like you forgot how to get a model face. I have no words. Not because I'm speechless. Well, actually I am, but because of how bad this is. I don't know, I can't even focus on anything in this photo. Maybe if it was a full body shot, I could critique something. Unfortunately for you, it isn't. I'm gonna have to disagree with both of you. This is perfect from head to toe. Especially your back arch, but also your face, which is so photogenic and intense. And your skin looks just uh, flawless here. This shot is intriguing. Your skin looks amazing and the pose is perfect for this type of shoot. You also look beautiful and, I li and you look like a real working model. The next one we have is Chanel. Hello, hello, hello. You look stunning today. Why not take a look at your photo shoot? I'm here for that part. Your face is more photogenic than I expected. You gave a perfect mix of classic and modern look here. I like that the pose is broken, but not sure if it would be more fitting for an avant-garde theme. Plus, you didn't pay attention to your reflections. So this didn't fit the theme completely. I love the shape that was created, but overall the pose looks way too stiff and uncomfortable, as if you're trying to break your body. Your reflection is also a crime to look at. Regardless of how your hands are positioned here, I think you nailed it. You're giving me diva vibes, and I feel the confidence even through the photo. I love your choice of posing. It's more into high fashion, and I appreciate that idea for this photo shoot. Also, come on girl, kill me with that stare. You have one of the strongest faces in this cast, and it shows in this photo. I love your eyes. You look mysterious, and somehow it feels like you want to take my soul with your staring. Thanks. Next up is Coco. Here is your best shot. I'm not a fan of this photo. The pose that you are doing makes you look like you are trying to hide your body. The eyes look dead and sad. For me, this this is the weakest photo. I don't I don't agree with you. This is one of the best. This is a surprise for me. I love the body shape and motion you've created. 
Also, your reflections look gorgeous. Your facial expression is dreamy, but also has an edgy vibe for me. And I love how you open your mouth a little. Coco, you're a cute girl and we both know that, but relying on your DNA is possibly the worst idea in a competition. You should have known that by 2020 as well. The only good thing about this photo is your face because you are cute. That's all. Everything else is a mess. I have so many questions. Like, are you falling or what? Why are your arms placed like this? Do you understand that you covered the outfit? If it was a beauty shot, it would have worked, but it is not a beauty shot, so this definitely doesn't work at all. I can only see the face here, which is awfully bland, and it doesn't work. But once I look at the pose, I like it. It's a decent shot, but you need to learn to use facial expressions more. That was a lot of mixed opinions. Some people have second-rate taste. Let's continue. Thanks, Coco. Next up we have is Jellomina. Hi there, nice judges. Are, are you flirting with me? <laughs> Maybe. I actually like the face here a lot, but you ruined the whole photo with the pose. It's very lifeless, timid, and also very catalog. You seem to have a photogenic face as far as I've seen so far, but you have to learn your angles and create better poses. It's sad that you didn't work with your look here. Your face is very sleepy and busted. And the pose is also model 101. <laughs> this is a disappointment. I don't know what you tried to do here, but I don't like it. I yawn when I look at this photo. No energy, not a model photo, nothing. All you do is put a hand on your hip and that's it. I just don't get it. Darling, we are in 2020, right? By this time, you should have realized that posing with a hand on your hip doesn't work at all. Well, on rare occasions it might. This is not one of them for sure. I would say that the face saves this photo if I didn't notice that you did not look in the camera but somewhere else. I thought that you were staring at the camera and believe me, this could be so much better than what you did. Oh no, this is really bad. Next up is Geraldine, and you are the winner of the first challenge. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Let's see if your photo is as good as your runway walk. I'll give you some points for being creative and posing on a floor, but this is the only thing which sets you apart from the other photos, since it's unremarkable on its own. Honestly, I don't mind this photo. Your pose is elegant, but it's not really visible, and you screwed up your eyes on your face. But, I can't say that the photo itself is bad. Just work on your presence, maybe put even more creativity into it. It's a plus for me as well that you decided to sit on the floor, but overall I think you could have done so much more with your face. I don't know. In my opinion, this is an okay photo. It doesn't make you go, wow. What a stunning picture. I want to put it on the wall at my house. You have to work more with your face. It's a simple shot, but it works for the shoot. I wish you did more with your face, but it's cute, and I do want to see more. Last but not least, we have Emily. How do you feel? Well, I don't know. I don't think my photo will be as great as you guys are hoping for. Why do you think so? Um... Well, when I was on the set to do the photo shoot, the photographer told me that my face looked too harsh. Do you want to see how your photo turned out? I don't think I... I love this photo. I don't mind if you look a little harsh here. You look stunning and like a real model. Your face is gorgeous and unique. You could have taken this to the next level with your pose, because the only thing I see is your hand on your hips. But I still think it works as an overall shot because your facial intensity saves this. A very basic and catalog approach and such a creative shoot that allows you to show off these views of angles. The hand on the waist is flat, 
and your face doesn't do anything either. You look very lost. Your reflections look better than your pose from the front, actually. Thanks, Emery. Now the judges will write down our points, and the girl with the lowest point is the one who will be going home tonight. Welcome back. We have counted our points, and we have the results. Eight girls are standing in front of me, but I have only seven photos in my hands, and these girls represent the girls who are still in the running to become Sims' next top model. The girl that I won't call must immediately go back to the house, pack her belongings, and go home. The girl with the highest score has 39.2 points, and she is... Ivy. Yes! Oh my god! That's me! That's my name! Your photo was amazing. You got three tens from the judges. Congratulations, Ivy. Oh, thank you! Runner-up for the best photo has 35.1 points. Emery, that is your photo. For real? Who knew that your photo was one of the top pictures this week? I'm speechless! Next name I'm going to call has 34.7 points. Chanel? Thanks, I guess. 30.5 points. And that is your photo, Lupita. Thanks. Geraldine, you have 29.7 points. I will do better next week, I promise. I have two more photos in my hands. The girl who avoided bottom two has 29.4 points. It goes to... Coco. Ah, oh, that's my name! Your photo was not the best this week, but the judges think you can improve by next week. Work on your poses and your expressions. Congratulations, you are still in the running to become Sims' next top model. Ah, oh, thank you very much! Can Jelamina and Semron please step forward? Two beautiful girls standing in front of me, but only one of you will continue in this competition. The girl that I do not call must immediately go back to the house, pack her belongings, and go home. You have a unique face, Jelamina. A beautiful face. Maybe one of the prettiest faces in the cast. But that is not enough. This week, the judges saw your photo as one of the weakest. You didn't give the energy that we wanted to see from you. Then, we have Simran. The oldest among the girls here. Beautiful, and she is so passionate about this competition. But, she failed this week's photo shoot. You need to work on your expressions, or it will ruin your photo, like it did this week. So, who goes home? to work more on your expressions. 
You could have given us an amazing picture if it wasn't because of your face. Congratulations, Simran. You're still in the running to be Sim's next top model. Thank you. I'm so sorry that you could not go any further in this competition. We know that you can do much better than this, but you need to try more. It's not all about being pretty. You need to take pictures with better posing and modeling, and I know that one day, you will be one of the best models. <laughs> Thank you. I'm disappointed with myself. My mother will be upset that I didn't win the competition. Even worse is that I'm the first one to go home. Everyone back home was rooting for me and told me I had a chance to be in the show, since I have always been the prettiest. I realized today that being pretty isn't enough. I don't want to go back home and keep working as a waitress. I can't do anything other than just go back to my normal life. I hope one day I can reach my goals in life and become someone that I want to be.